Hey guys, oh, it's finally time. Let me see where I have this. Ah, there it is. Ah, my precious miner. It's finally time for you, baby, to come back online. Guys, it has been a while since my last video about a Picious Miner. So today is one of the days where we are going to do something with our Picious Miner. And today we will disable the Helium Miner on this device and we will enable the Things IX network on this device. So everything you see in this video will be only about the Picious Miner and how to do this on a Picious Miner. So if you plan to join the Things IAX network with any other device, you probably need to wait a couple of days longer before I can get other devices and can get them deployed onto this. Yeah, but today's video is just about the Picious Miner. So if you don't have a Picious Miner, um, I'm sorry for you guys, but yeah, today's video is totally about the Precious Miner and only about it and only on how to do this on this device. So don't do this if you are not familiar with a Precious Miner or you don't have a Precious Miner because everything I do in this video is totally about the Precious Miner. So first things first, things I X website and what we can find here, I open the Explorer and uh, if you open the Explorer in the first place, the blue dots are only the areas that have been mapped. So initially there was a um, some sort of lottery where you can get a mapper and this mapper is needed to actually see if there's any coverage with your gateway that you provide. So probably some of you guys think about mm, things I ask, some Lura stuff, probably Helium copy. Let me tell you, no. I don't want to go too deep into detail about things I ask because this is totally a story for another video and nothing I can cover today because the video on how to set this up on a Picious Miner will be long enough. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick glance on the Explorer it's quite nice it's a new network and uh, since two days the main net is live so that's the reason why I record this video and why I think I need to show you how you can easily set up your precious miner on the things IX network and when it comes to rewards and stuff like this you have two options either you wait a couple of days until I tell you how everything is working on on the network or you check out the documentation and their discord because everything is an is explained in there and I guess you can take a couple of seconds and read through the things to understand what's going on here because the incentivize of things I X is completely different to other mechanisms and other networks so let's get right into it and let's start with deploying our miner on the things ix network okay guys let's see um so i got a little sheet sheet for the pushes p100 gateway miner or however you want to call this and i also logged into my pushes miner so let's see if we are able to onboard this thing on the things i x network so the first thing we need to do is to create a directory that is called things i x for water in the slash etsy slash things i x dash for water i cannot create permission denied okay that's all right so we run this as a sudo all right so slash let's uh so we changed the directory and now we can change the directory to the things i x for water okay okay all right so let's see he states that we need to open uh, the file so let's quickly change into those directories slash home slash pi slash hot uh packet packet okay let's see do we have the packet forward the packet forwarder there we go and now we should have the global conf file so we go into this with pseudo nano global conf.json okay let's see so in here we need to change the line with surf port so let's search for surf 
underline port there we go surf port up is 1680 and surf port down is 1680 and he changed them to 1688 both of them okay let's do this all right okay we can uh, save this exit out of the file okay now we need to copy this command here okay let's see we paste it in here and run this uh permission denied of course so sudo docker run and now it is creating the files great so it's downloading all the necessary dependencies and whatever what we need for this docker container okay and the next command is the command we need for starting the docker container but we I guess we need to wait a second for yeah there we go okay and here we need to change this from network test to main uh, again we have we need to put in sudo in front of this okay it's pulling so I am going into the web UI of this device quickly move this up here so that you can see what I'm talking about okay so I clicked this once let me see if I can reload this okay it's disabled now I enable it again <clears throat> let's see if this loads Okay, now it is enabled. That's good. Next, execute the command for check of the logs that this thing's x forward is logging and just see if it starts okay and what it says. There's a lot of info messages. Okay, that's what we want to do. We want to check the logs. So we go back in here. And of course, permission denied because we are not in the sudo. Okay, message things ix forward are connected to mainnet that's good sync uh, things ix gateway registered under the api use file based mm -hmm, that's all right okay that is good so far that is really good okay uh message event from unknown gateway drop event global locally all right let's see what we will find here um next with the next command and one of the most important is things to see if everything is executed okay this next command needs to return to you something like this local id first scene here was the problem for not receiving the message before while trying and giving me back message that this file was not created up until i tried to import here uh the step where i restart the lower packet for water okay let's see what we will get from this let's put it in here okay so this is good we have seen our local id at the first scene next execute the command that creates the connection to wallet of this gateway and return json that is used on the things ix explorer to onboard okay great so i'm gonna do now two things the first thing i'm gonna do is i go into the um things i x dashboard therefore i quickly need to log in with my wallet one second and then i can show you what i'm talking about so i move this window up here and i connect with my metamask wallet okay great so i'm currently on the on the web page of things i ax and i see this i quickly click on connect and i can click on add gateway here so there are two major steps that you need to do before you can actually onboard a device and that is that you need to have a couple of uh, fix token you can swap them on the polygon chain and therefore you need to have a little bit of usdc on your polygon metamask wallet or whatever kind of wallet you are going to be using okay 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 so that's good that's good um and then you can swap uh usdc for fix 
okay um and I'm, i'm sorry a little bit for you guys that just want to receive a video that is uh, directly directing you over the steps that you need to do but this is the first time that i try to onboard my device on the things i x network as well so therefore i'm sorry for the inconvenience of this video but i guess it's it's a good practice for all of you and myself as well that we are going to do this together okay so i'm on this page great i need to execute the next command and therefore i need to copy this whole command import and push your wallet number okay great so let me quickly move this over and also this one because i'm not sure what kind of information i will see here okay i what i did is i copied the command and in here where it says your wallet number i just pasted in my polygon wallet address let's see what it will do okay as well it told me that i have zero permission and therefore i need to put in sudo in front of it okay interesting now it gives me a lot of information it gives me an address chain id a gateway id the local id a network id an owner number a signature and so on so i bring back this overview and i click on add device uh paste json text okay i will move down this window again and put in all the text that i received um and then we will see what the next step will be send an error queued okay one second let me see if i can fix this i'm not quite sure okay 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 that's great so i paste i okay what i will do i try to i try to blur a couple of information um but nevertheless i see i put in the docker command in here and then i get all those informations and i need to copy all of them and put them into this one the paste json text and now i see a ready to onboard and in here we have an onboarding fee of 10 six roughly five dollars and we have a fee tolerance i put this to zero because i don't want to pay any tolerance on here and let's see if this works onboard gateway invalid gateway signature interesting uh, let me increase the fee tolerance maybe something is wrong in there no i still get a invalid gateway signature i will quickly pause this video and maybe i will find a solution for this okay guys it seems i made a mistake in the initial setup um so we currently have the forwarder version 1.0.8 installed and this is the wrong one um so i need to stop this that we are going to be using here we need to ch the version 1.0.8 this is not the version that we need we need to update this uh, first we need to change this to main and this one we need to 1.1.1 if i'm not mistaken let me quickly see comment not found uh oh yeah my bad we need to put in sudo docker okay it's pulling the latest version that's great ah uh, damn 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 okay um sudo docker remove and then uh the container is already this container let me quickly remove this and sorry guys that i'm, I'm a little bit uh, confused by all this uh, maybe delete okay am i mistaken docker help mm, i'm sorry guys that i I'm not using docker that often so ah my bad sudo docker rm uh, container and then the actual container id 
Okay, let me run this command again that we see what the actual issue is here. sudo docker ps, let's see if this one is working. Okay, it seems like the version 1.1.1 is working. So now we can uh, execute the latest, uh, the last command to get our JSON file that we need. Oh, da, 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 da. One second. There we go. This is the command that we need. And it's easy to use onboard and push it, don't need. Mm -hmm. Currently, the creator of things ix is texting me that I can use a, another command. Instead of import and push, I can use the onboard and push. Okay, let me try this. Onboard and push. Okay, guys, I'm back and I finally got a good information for you. So I did two major issues. The first issue I made was that I initially set up the full water on a wrong version and therefore I needed to stop it, remove it and redeploy it and on on the version 1.1.1 and then I needed to use another command than that what is initially in here. Um, by the way I will put up the commands in the video description so that you guys just need to copy and paste this. Um, be aware that all that I'm doing here is only suitable for the Pusher's Miner and not for any other miner. And then what I did was I showed what my actual gateway ID is. I got this here. I probably will blur a couple of things again here that uh, yeah should not be seen by everybody. And then I copied this and I put in the command sudo docker exec things ix for water uh, point slash for water gateway on board and push and my gateway ID and then the um, polygon address that I use for this gateway. And now I can hop over here to this and click on add gateway. And there we have it. We have the first gateway here. We can select this and we can click on add. And this will ask us to deploy this. I will put in feed tolerance of zero. I click on onboard gateway. It is confirming. It asks me for a couple of medic to accept it. I click on accept, waiting for confirmation. And it should be onboarding on the things ix network now so we did it and the next step we need to do is we need to actually set a location for this device success transaction proceeded perfect and now what we can do is let me see uh do i need to i need to assert a location for this device pending of events okay uh, it seems like it needs 128 confirmations for this device before it is actually onboarded uh, we can quickly take a look into the details and this gateway does not exist it's currently being onboard please come back later so okay i will wait this and then we will see us again as soon as this as the confirmations are done and then we can finally a certain location to this device so i will see you in a second okay so the f the time is finally over and we have the gateway onboarded let's see what we will find in the details okay you don't have any edit any details for the gateway okay 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 now let's see what i can edit i have zero <laughs> Aha, aha, interesting, interesting. So this is the page where we need to set up everything. And it seems I need, a, I need a lot more of things to actually set this up. Antenna gain, altitude above ground, frequency plan, uh, set a location first. Uh, let's go over to Germany. 
Okay, there we go. This was really a mess. The network is currently a little bit overloaded and I needed a lot of more things to onboard my device. So here we go. I put in antenna gain of 4 dBi. The altitude is probably something like 6 meters. And location, let's see Germany. Uh, Germany, there we go. Okay. Uh, where am I? I am here, close to this. Uh, there. Tolerance is zero. Update. Approve the transaction. Bestätigen. Waiting for confirmation. Success. Great. Now we need to wait 128 confirmations again, and I will see you in a second. And finally, here we are. Everything is set up and everything is set up. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for further videos. See you in the next one.